so what we are going to do today is we are actually going to look and judge this device is it really capable of uh, the hype it has uh, this device is called obd11 as you can see uh, it is specifically made for vw group of vehicles like uh, volkswagen skoda audi uh, bentley so you can activate some of the features which are not activated already from the factory so the mods and the application available totally depends on the which specific engine control unit ecu or bcm body control unit and can bus gateway you have so how much amount of connectivity you have in between these three things will uh, finally decide what can you enable and what you can't so let me connect this to the car and I'll show you what are the things what I have already did so the engine on the ignition mode I have already connected the device to the car and it's connected to my phone so the things which we can do actually are defined by how many control modules we have like I have these control modules but if you are into apps then the basic thing you are looking for is this central electrics and in central electrics it may uh, need some time to load up the data from the vehicle depending upon the internet connection speed you have plus the reading speed of the device so till the time it connects let me show you things what I have did already so firstly let's see the things I have did I've already uh, put a video of the needle sweep or the, if you want to use the language of a VCDS then it's called staging So this is the first mod I did, uh, it is one of the application that is a version 2 which has the backlit, uh, version 1 doesn't have the backlit and the second thing I have did is uh, you can scroll through the screen, there is one more screen added into the MFD which is called uh, volume to replenish this screen, it will tell you how much quantity of fuel you need to uh, fill up the tank, it is a rough estimation, it works in the uh, range of 5 so it will show you data like 10 15 20 25 so this uh, screen is not available on the stock polo so this is the thing which you can enable from the obd 11 device the first thing which I already show you in the needle sweep that is also possible and the third thing uh, which I did is Tear wipe which was not present in the 2014 to 16 polo uh, okay let me show you if I wash the windscreen it will wipe one more time after five to six seconds so these things are controlled by BCM or body control module it has a PQ24H plus module which is capable of cruise control as well as the auto light, auto headlights and auto uh, wipers. But it doesn't have the required hardware. So now we are connected to the car as you can see it has identified the vehicle. Next thing we have to do is, so now we are into control modules. If you are in looking for the uh, apps or needle staging. You can find that in cars, you will have your car here, apps and these are the possibilities you can do. So first thing was needle sweep, it is the V2 version 2, refuel quantity needed. I tried to get the refuel, refuel quantity from here but it was not... Uh, performing well so I did it from the dashboard module and then it started to work automatic locking you can enable or disable that sound actor we doesn't have we don't have sound actor in our vehicle electronic stability control and traction controls is for petrol models with the GTTSI locking and unlocking acoustic confirmation means when you unlock and unlock the car from the remote the horn will sound or not you can lock or unlock that windows function windows up and down when you press down when you keep the button press down lock or unlock static cornering light with the every indicator if you 
started the left indicator the front left fog light will will come on and off according to the indicator mirror link in motion it's for uh, 2016 after the 2016 models which have a touchscreen display system central lock on with ignition so as soon as you uh, turn on the ignition your remote get disabled you can turn that off you can still use that remote i don't know why you would want to gauge test needle sweep that's the first without the backlight is the version 1 if you have the touchscreen system you can actually change the drl settings from the head unit you can have that menu on or off you can put up a lap timer on your dashboard scandinavian drls i guess this thing is not supported up, uh, due to the light we have not because of the uh, bcm actually video in motion same you can use your touch screen to play videos if you have a, a head unit which support videos seat belt warning we already don't have so we don't have to drl off with hand brakes pretty much self explanatory and open door alarm if your door is open if you want to turn that turn that alarm on or off you can do that retrofits mod you need to actually buy something hardware and the workshop manual workshop mods you can reset your tpms uh, inspection service and oil service light as well but the major focus is actually on the control modules central electrics So now we are in Central Electrics. We can actually look into the live data. We have to enter the channel. What do you want to look at? Still, there are very few. I would say very few in Central Electrics for the live data. But Central Electric main things lies in the long coding. you can actually turn on and off a lot of things as you can see i have activated that lap timer remote control modules comfort function for uh, your windows and you can turn on or off the acoustic confirmation horn thing if you don't want to spend credits from direct apps you can do it from here without spending the credits you can activate or re- uh, deactivate the multifunction steering wheel from here cornering lights coming home lights and leaving home at lights but uh, they don't work because uh, in our model the bcm actually controls just the fog lights not the headlights but backlights are also supported by the bcm i've tried to actually enable this uh, screen on the dashboard which is oil temperature but it it doesn't work i've already activated this thing uh, when you brake hard your uh, indicators will flash automatically brake light activation uh, via bcm or body control module tear wiping activated i've shown you already comfort function for rear wiper is uh, you can activate this feature uh, it is like if you have turned on the wiper if the wipers are turned on and if you put your car in reverse gear the rear wiper will automatically get activated till the time you are in reverse gear speed dependent wiper stage activation the speed of intermittent wipers uh, will actually vary upon the speed you are lamp diagnostics for the daytime running light rear fog lights the we really don't want to turn on these things because it means if your uh, brake light bulb would get fuse or blown it will throw a check engine light on your dashboard cluster or the mil but the thing is when you see a mil light on your dashboard cluster a blown bulb is not the first thing that comes into your mind some of the descriptions are missing cornering light functions
a lot of the descriptions are missing because it is more like this thing is still in the development phase it's not fully completed so we don't know much about these things what are these bits and bytes at this point of time but with the rising number of users these things will get defined because if we start using it and sharing the logs with the obd11 team they will get to know what these things actually do we can also check the live data from engine which is actually quite usable so if you want to measure the injected deviation what is the condition of injector fuel deviation so we can check that but before that we have to start our vehicle so let me start the vehicle and get back to you so it is minimum deviation quantity so these are the four injection amount deviation cylinder number one to four So it's the real time data but for these things you have to uh, make sure that your engine is in running next thing uh, you we can actually check for vacuum leaks so it's uh, called charge air pressure specified value and actual value specified value is what the ecu is demanding and actual value is what the sensor is reading so it is more like charge air pressure means your turbo boost so just like this we have a lot of things from the engine live data we can check the volume to replenish functions comes from the dashboard control module adaptations this thing depends upon your internet speed and you will find a uh, option saying volume to be replenished so you have to activate this thing and you will have a additional display just in case if you are someone like me working on your vehicle alone and you know for bleeding the brakes you actually need two people so that is also can be done alone you can actually uh, bleed the brakes from here bleed brakes repair so there are a lot of functions you can actually use and just for the purpose i'm trying to show you how this thing works look if i click on the bleed brakes now it says preparation so bleed front try to hear the noise my abs light came on so we have to stop it from here now stop so in that way it can the bcm can command the uh, abs motor to work and help the brakes to bleed and this is the long coding of brakes it really doesn't have any kind of description so i advise not to mess with it because if you have a car that doesn't run it's still safe but if you have a car that runs but it doesn't stop that's kind of not a safe situation to be in so in this you can also change uh, the lane change indicator flashes for three times if you want to change that value for three two four till five you can change that if you want to get the drls installed from outside you can just connect that drls from the parking there is an option in the long coding of the central electric which says parking on with terminal 15 on terminal 15 is nothing just ignition so you can just uh, install the DRLs without any DRLs relays needed. Your parking will remain, your parking light will remain on as soon as you turn the key on. You can scan the DTCs, you can scan the separate modules alone if you want to. 
uh, you can tinker with your brakes you can tinker with your headlights you can tinker with your backlights flashing scandinavian drls if that's possible totally depends on the model of bcm you have whether it supports or not so it's quite a usable device or i would say it's quite a useful device if you really want to uh, tinker the settings of your vehicle but uh, one thing for sure the long coding of the engine has no description in it so you don't know every bit and byte for what it stands for so do not mess with the engine long coding and brakes long coding if you don't know what you are doing in short it all boils down to which variant of the vehicle you have if you have a comfort line or a trend line variant baseline variant then you have a lot of scope in terms of apps and the things you can activate for uh, which driver can actually see and feel but if you have a highline variant or a all star variant above variants then there are really less things because a lot of things are already activated from the factory for you so this is the thing a manufacturer does actually intentionally because after two or three years the vehicle needs a facelift and needs to have a little more feature than before so they plan it in advance and just activate it later on in the years of the vehicle for someone who is actually into diy stuff and need to know what his vehicle is doing this is a great tool to have